I saw a video on uh, YouTube the other day and it was about some folks in Texas and they've got an ICF product and it's, oof, it's ugly. Um, and they were building a safe room and that was ugly. Even the guys putting it together are ugly. So I thought, well, I can build a better mousetrap. So yesterday, Easter, um, I did some cartoons. Here they are. Just lay out my cut list for... Uh, it's a 9 by 13 safe room, but it's also a walk-in refrigerator. Might as well put it to work. So, um, anyway, I map everything out. Then I put the pieces together. Here's a couple of my fixtures. This is the a portion of the top course. I only have two more pieces to make. And then the top is complete. And then I'm going to do something trick on this one. Uh, it's going to have a 2.8 hollow metal frame and door at one end, and then provisions for um, a 12,000 BTU window AC at the other. Here's another piece. Anyway, boring, but when it goes together, it'll go together very quickly. It's uh, got an R value of 28 in the walls, 24. Uh, on the ceiling, got a concrete roof, and the floor has an R value of uh, 16. Those are all based at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and when you get colder, the R value goes up. So I'll get into that later. I'm about to introduce you to Gracie, one of my favorite women of all time, and unfortunately, I'm a polygamist in that I have. Two Gracies, but um, they uh, you can have a long term relationship with them, and you can say goodnight, Gracie, and turn the lights out, and push the start button, and Gracie will make cool things for you. Uh, and that doesn't happen often in our society. So uh, I'm going to program this to cut the hole for the AC thing that will make our safe room also a, uh, a walk-in refrigerator. So bear with me and I'll show you. And um, I just wrote new commands and I make mistakes, but I wear out erasers a lot more than I wear out pencils. But uh, I'll go put the commands in and we'll make this thing run. Here's the little manual program I just created. And watching this machine run is kind of like uh, listening for corn growing or paint drying or whatever. But uh, I'm going to take you outside and show you some fun stuff. But it, the program's ready. I'm timed. And I'm going to push the run button. Here's Gracie doing her thing, uh, and I, I program to uh, about a hundredth of an inch and anticipate the wire burn. Any of you that have used a table saw, you know what a kerf is. Well, the wire has a kerf, usually about uh, five thousandths, uh, excuse me, five uh, hundredths. Um, but anyway, this hole will not be close, it'll be perfect. And it's all based on the rough opening size of an LGN 12,000 BTU window air conditioner. Anyway, again, it's boring, uh, but it's part of what I do, and I'm lucky because I get to drink Scott's whiskey and, uh, you know, eat uh, chocolate chip cookies and whatever. So, anyway. Here, Gracie's all done. She cut a hole um, just exactly the right size, within a couple of hundredths of an inch. And you folks will see it when it goes into place. And that opening there is for an LG uh, 12,000 BTU room air conditioner. So uh, it makes my life a lot easier uh, to panelize it and put it all together. But it won't take me more than a couple hours to uh, erect this thing. Anyway, thanks. Here's the first uh, three-foot 
panels for the safe room walk-in cooler and I'm gluing these pieces on because that 2.8 hollow metal door frame will go right in here and then when this is grouted uh, the whole thing will be grouted including the door frame we're just starting to put this together and of course it's the floor is kind of funky and there's no rebar coming out of the ground or the concrete or whatever but just so people will have an idea and we'll kind of shim it to get it straight um, but this is uh, obviously the door opening uh, and the AC unit the refrigeration goes at that end but we'll have it up to height here in about two, two jiffies here I'm just uh, getting my door detail ready for uh, the next three feet and obviously there's no rebar in it uh, when I'm done with this little video I'm just going to take these apart and put them in the inventory but hopefully everybody and that's where my hollow metal door is going to get filled in and when it's grouted the door jam will be right here and it will get filled in with grout door swings in uh, God forbid you don't end up with uh, you know in the storm a motorhome on your outswinging door so I like to swing them in no no um, I've I've gone ahead and and gotten together with uh, well um, the sheriffs uh, people on work or early work release and look at them this is like the freaking mod squad here we got one Jew, one skinny white chick, and one black dude with a big hat. But they're going to work right now. Let's set that panel. This is going to be on YouTube. So, hey, this is on YouTube, man. So keep a stiff upper. There we are. Oh, isn't that special? I mean... You know, th there, there's something to be said for drunk Norwegians, and it's right here. No, oh, oh, no, get your ass over here. How about this? This is going on YouTube. Come on, man. We got airtime to deal with. Now, in my country, you are making this one, huh? Entiendes, Mendes? See? Si. Yeah. Muy bien. We got enough reach here. Can you? Can I step on it? Well, well, yeah, you can. Good Lord Almighty. Don't hurt anything, Bruce. Be careful. <laughs> right now, I got Pete and Repeat here working, and uh, we're at six feet. And that end down there is where the AC is going to be. Um, and I've got uh, some other panels that go on top, which uh, I really know what to do with anyway. Um, but that's all for now. Here's the last uh, of the detailing. Oh, to put that hollow metal frame in. It, looks, it seems confusing now, but it won't be. Once I go pick up the door frame and put it in there. Here I'm uh, taking that 3x3 three three piece at the end where the AC goes in and uh, reinforcing it with the uh, 2 inch by 2 inch 20 gauge angle. It doesn't look very exciting, but uh, you'll see it when it all comes together. All this just takes a little bit of time and half the bottle, battle is waiting for the adhesive to cure. So, but I got plenty of other things to do. Okay, here we are. We're up to eight feet. And I've got track around the inside, the bearing environment. Um, if you want, I climb up a ladder and show you, but it straightens everything out. So, let me climb up a ladder. Oy. Remember, I'm a tired old man. And there we go. So this straightens the wall out and gives a bearing uh, for the roof panels, which will go on next. And this seems like a long and drawn out affair, but it's not. 
Here's uh, Hector setting the roof panels. They're rabbited, and this one looks a little doggy, but um, it just it came out of old inventory, and um, the the uh, the track on the bottom, that's 18 gauge. It's very, very, very strong stuff. Still will need some bracing. But you can see it's rabbited all the way around, and this should fit right in there. <laughs> Gives the old man a little credit, so. You can kind of get an idea of how I detail the door. Um, you know, it goes against that stop at the front. The grout obviously will flow in very easily. Here I am waving this thing around. I shouldn't be doing that, but uh, it's really kind of a nice detail. And obviously, I have to put the floor insulation in, to, or at least replicate the floor insulation. But uh, that's not a big deal, and I'll I'll do that pretty soon. Here's the reefer all put together. Uh, it's, as you can see, it's shimmed up and whatnot because the floor is a little bit funky. Uh, and there's a few joints that aren't as tight as they could be, but uh, simply because uh, there's nothing holding it at the bottom and it's not glued together. But uh, I'm, as soon as this is done, I'm going to take it apart. But that's how thick the floor insulation will be. Obviously, there'll be a wear surface on top, probably uh, either OSB or... Uh, some aluminum uh, diamond plate. Okay, like I mentioned before, everything is just kind of put together loose. Uh, the roof structure has 18 gauge inch and 5 8 track on 16 inch centers. It's pretty stout. Uh, to pour the lid, uh, just a, uh, some bracing right down the center line should do it. Uh, we poured these before and never had any problems. And it's all rabbited in, so it's really airtight. Um, and of course, this piece was an extra one left over from a job, so it's a little dirty. It's not pink and pretty. but And you can see daylight, you know, in a few spots, but that's because everything's loose. It's not attached to anything. And here's a view looking down. You can see the door frame. Pretty substantial bond beam goes all the way around. Hopefully this will show up on a video. And then here's the upper deck. Uh, and it's a, these, uh, these things over here uh, will provide a four inch thick concrete deck on top. Obviously you want to put, oh, at least four gauge uh, welded wire fabric in it. Or you could do a grid of, uh, number four bar and you can grout this whole shebang all at once takes about uh, oh five and a third yards probably order five and a half anyway uh, that pretty well shows it all uh, also if you were going to hang animals in here for uh, aging whatnot um, you could certainly um, Oh, put a few pieces of all thread going through the foam. This foam is six inches thick. Um, but you could do that and embed uh, uh, with a big washer or a piece of flat bar with a hole in it. And go ahead and hang right from this lid. Be plenty strong. And here's just a view from the outside. That's where the AC goes. Um, I could have put the AC in up higher, easy enough to do. Uh, obviously, you know, it's just a, a matter of choice for whoever, but I thought that would be a pretty decent height. Keep in mind that the roof panel comes down an inch and a half, so the AC is probably placed just about right. And uh, I designed this one with a 12,000 BTU uh, LG uh, AC unit and then a little controller called the Coolbot and uh, as well insulated as this thing is uh, it won't cost much to run I would say even sitting outside um, oh probably four to five kilowatt hours per day which uh, doesn't amount to very much pretty, pretty neat little structure uh, 
if this doesn't fly, I may have to live in this one. So who knows? And here I've got some criteria. Um, the exterior dimensions, 9 feet by 13 by 8 feet, 8 and a half. Interior is 7 foot 3 by 11 foot 3 by 7, 6 high. R values at 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Walls 29.4, ceiling 26 and change. Uh, floor 17 and a half. 5.35 uh, yards of concrete for the walls and roof. The weight of the structure, excluding footings and slab and all that, 23,500 pounds, obviously with concrete in it. The interior volume, uh, 620 uh, square feet or cubic feet. And material costs, roof panels, floor, uh, steel track angle, blah, 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 does not include the grout or the pumping or the AC or the hollow metal door frame and door. Uh, $2,637.55 and if panelized um, I would put it together in panels for $460 and detail it for you. So there you have it. Um, anyway, that's uh, it, it's, it's a pretty slick deal and uh, a lot of people, like especially ranchers, farmers, would put it inside one of their great big workshop buildings or whatever.